Hello? Luis, thank God you're home. Sure, You all right? I think someone's stalking me. They're here in the cottage. Please, come quick, please. Sheridan. Sheridan. Let's hope to God I'm not too late. Hi, Ethan. Gwen. Hello, Teresa. Okay, Teresa, where is he? Or have you come up with yet another excuse to avoid introducing us to your boyfriend? Do you think everything in Orville's apartment was lost in the fire? I don't know. I can't even get in there to take a look around until after the fire chief gives the okay. But you still think there's something in there to help you find out about your past? I'm sure there's something in there. I'm sure of it. Although, I don't know what's left. All I do know is that Orville did have my birth certificate. At least, what was left of it. First, Orville sets my birth certificate on fire. <laughs> now his entire apartment burns up. Did the fire chief say how it got started? Nah, he ain't gonna say nothing until after they do the investigation. Well, it was pretty cluttered. It could have started with a frayed wire or something. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But I still like to know what your mom was doing in Orville's apartment the night I saw her there. She's Orville's doctor, Chad. You said she told you she was looking for medical information on him. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's what she told me. But I ain't buying that. She would never lie. Yeah. Well, all I know is somebody knows something about my past, all right? And I ain't gonna give up till I find out what it is. Charity, are you all right? Um, yeah, I'm okay, Miguel. I just... I can't shake these weird feelings. Weird feelings? Premonitions, Kay. That something strange is happening to somebody I know. Somebody that we all know. Have you figured out who this someone might be? No. I don't know. I just know it's somebody that I know. It's really eerie. I know something strange is going on. Something very strange. Jimmy's worried about his princess. What is Timmy going to do? Water and ice. Fire and bone. Show us how to help this crone. You turned Timmy's princess into a fish. What did you expect? Miracles? I did the best I could. The only thing that can help Tabitha now is to receive love from her enemy. Timmy doesn't understand. Well, you damn well better think about it, because if you don't figure it out, Tabitha could be swimming around in that thing until she turns belly up. And you don't want to see that, my friend. It's not a pretty sight. But at least the scales of justice will be balanced. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> scales of justice, really. Get it? Uh, scales. Fish. You, uh, get, you know. Timmy can't let Tabitha die. I don't want to die either, Timmy. Tabitha, you can still speak to Timmy. Yes. Now, help me, Timmy. Timmy doesn't know what to do. What did the witch doctor mean? I don't know. I'm too weak to think straight. It's up to you to figure out what the doctor meant. Well, it's a riddle. Timmy got that much. But Timmy's no good at riddles. Timmy, you have to figure it out or, or I'm finished. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave the places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet
The witch doctor said that Talitha would have to receive love from her enemy in order to get out of that fishbowl and back to her normal self. What does that mean? I don't know. Try to think. Think, Jimmy, think. We have to figure out who this enemy is and get him or her to love you. But which enemy, Talitha? You have so many that Jimmy would have to make up with. Everybody hates you. Especially... Jimmy thinks he knows who the witch doctor meant. Where are you taking me? You'll find out when you get there. Be, be careful. Okay, okay. There's someone inside. Sure to be in big trouble. Well, Teresa, what's your excuse for not being able to produce your boyfriend this time? Gwen, please. It's possible that Teresa's boyfriend is just late. Well, I suppose that's possible, but I'm kind of wondering why he didn't come with you, Teresa. I mean, doesn't this guy ever escort you anywhere? Or is he not allowed to pick you up at home? No, no, Ethan's right. Um, my, my boyfriend is late, but he will be here. He'll be here. <laughs> oh, Teresa, how are you going to get out of it this time? Why is on you like a pit bull? I have to do something to get out of this. Perfect. Just like in my dream. Now, where do you think you're going? You clumsy idiot! It was an accident. Yeah, it's gonna cost you your job! Go in! Uh. I'm so sorry, miss. That's right, Gwen. Let Ethan see what a witch you really are. Eve, uh, did you ever find that uh, bird statue? No. Well, you've got to. Everything that uh, could destroy your whole life is uh, hid there in the bird. Orville, I told you, your apartment caught fire. Everything in it was burned. Well, I hope that bird was destroyed, too. For your sake, Eve. I think I'll pay Orville a little visit. If he doesn't pay me the money he owes me, I'll just have to see how much this old bird is worth. You're not going to believe the newest kick Cherry's on. Now she thinks she's psychic. Psychic, like seeing things in the future? Yeah, she's having visions and premonitions. This just proves how crazy she is. Miguel doesn't think so. Not yet. What if Charity really is psychic? What if she can really see things in the future? Yeah, right. If that's true, she should have her own 900 number. <laughs> you know what? I am being stupid. I mean, why would I be having visions? It's not stupid, Charity. Lots of scientific research has been done on people with ESP. Reese is right. I mean, you could have ESP. I don't know. I just wish I could remember my life before the fire. Maybe I did have some kind of psychic ability. Well, tell us again what you're seeing. the same as before. They've changed. Oh, this is so weird. It's really eerie. What are we doing here at the cemetery? Timmy figured out what the witch doctor meant. 
you have to receive the love from one of your enemies. So, one of your enemies has to help you turn back into a person. Yes, yes, so? So, Jimmy narrowed it down to a list of enemies that have powers of their own. And she came up with Matilda. Matilda? Timmy? She'll never help me. Not in a million years. Calm down, Princess. Save your strength. Leave it to Timmy. What do you think you can do? Timmy remembers how you called up Matilda from the grave. Timmy, you don't know the first thing about incantations or spells. Timmy's been watching you. He's like a sponge. Timmy can call her from the grave. He knows he can. All right. Do your thing. Just hurry. Matilda, Matilda, yesterday. Matilda, Matilda. <laughs> Timmy, that's very entertaining, but you'll never get Matilda to show up like that. You're right, Princess. Time to go to Plan B. Matilda! Matilda! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Oh, good grief. What are you doing now? Uh, Timmy knows that if he wants to call up somebody from the grave, he has to be as irritating as possible. Just like you were. That's very flattering, Timmy, but screaming and singing are not going to call up a witch from the beyond. thing I'd ever do. Oh, no, please don't say that. If you don't help Jimmy's princess, she'll die. Good. <laughs> but you have to help, Tabitha. You're Timmy and Tabitha's only home. Sorry, little man. Forget it, Timmy. We didn't need her help anyway. Is that you, Tabitha? You might as well know. Yes, I'm the fish. I didn't recognize you. But I must say you're looking very well. Had a little facial, have we? <laughs> very funny. Yes, it was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> a facial. Oh, I've got to remember that one. Timmy, pick me up. Let's get out of here. I knew Matilda wouldn't help us. No, Tabitha. At least tell Matilda the whole story. She might help you if she knew what happened. Your princess is right, little man. I will not help her, no matter what cockamamie story she comes up with. However, I would like to invite you to stay for dinner. Dinner? Timmy is hungry. What are you having for dinner? Sushi. <laughs> Look out, Sharon. I thought, uh... Excuse me. I saw someone moving around in here, and uh, I thought it was the intruder. Is he still here? No. I mean, there was no intruder. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean there was no intruder? Th then why'd you call me over here? I had a very good reason to call you. Oh, I see. You wanted to get back at me for trying to use you to get information on your family. Is that it? No. Yeah, you know what? I already apologized for that. 
You know, I, I thought I made it clear that, that I'm not like all those other guys who you've known, who just wanted to use you. I said I was sorry, but I guess that's not good enough. You know, you had to pull some kind of prank to just try and make me look like a fool. Why would you just stop talking for one minute? It had nothing to do with making you look like a fool. Then what was it? It was the only way that I could think of to get you to come over here. Over here? That's right. Why? Oh. Gwen, are you all right? Oh, I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Oh. Oh. Please accept my apologies, miss. Oh, it's okay. Please, don't worry. I'm sure it was an accident. Oh, I was just, I was just shocked at how cold the drinks were. I don't know how it happened. I must have tripped or something. Please, please don't worry about it. These things happen. Wait, if you could get us some more napkins. I'm gonna get some more napkins too. So. Oh, soaking wet. I cannot believe you deliberately tripped that waiter. I feel terrible. You even Gwen had me backed into a corner. I was trying to get Gwen to show Ethan her true colors, that she really is a bitch. Well, she didn't seem bitchy to me. No. I don't understand it. Remember how mean she was to me at church? She was acting that way because you were after her boyfriend, and she knows it. She was totally rude and horrible to me, Whitney. You're forgetting that she's right, Teresa. You don't have a boyfriend, and you are trying to steal hers. And all might be over tonight. I keep waiting for fate to save me. Nothing is happening. I'm not gonna say it. I I'm not gonna say a word. You don't have to say it. I'll say it for you. You told me this was gonna happen, and now it's happening. I should have told Ethan the truth a long time ago. And now it's too late. Mama's gonna lose her job. I'm gonna lose my job with Ethan's mother. And worst of all, I'm gonna lose the only thing that really matters to me. Ethan. What's going on here? We was just talking. Oh, I saw his heart rate go up at the monitor at the nurse's desk. So what are you doing here? Well, I just came to have a little chat. <laughs> Don't get excited, I'm leaving. What's that woman, Norval? A colossal pain in my rear. That's who. Norval, who is she? Does she know anything about me or about the information that you had inside the bird statue? Now, don't worry. She doesn't know anything. You watch, Orville. <laughs> I'll get my money out of you one way or the other. Charity, are you still seeing someone that we know in your visions? Yeah, but they're different. It doesn't look like the same person. And they're swimming in a small area. Yeah. I know, I know it's really strange. And it just got even more strange. Now they're not just swimming, they're... They're flying. I haven't had sushi in such a long time. <laughs> you! Take me over, you Eve princess! Yeah! No! Give me objective, princess! He won't let anything happen to her. Matilda, please help Jimmy Matilda. He doesn't want anything to happen to her. Such loyalty. Oh, all right. I suppose I am a bit curious as to how Tabitha got herself into this predicament. Well, Tabitha was trying to bring Charity over to the dark side. And Charity was supposed to give Miguel a poison patty four that Tabitha made. But Tabitha ate it by mistake. And then she melted. So Timmy called the witch doctor. 
to help. And he turned her into a fish. He said that for her to get back to her normal state, she would have to get love from an enemy. And I suppose I'm the enemy who's supposed to give her love. You're perfect for the job, Matilda. You hate her. Loathe and despise her. Perfect. Please help Timmy and Talitha. Timmy and Talitha have been through so much together. It's gotta be love. What else could feel like this? It's gotta be love. It started with our first kiss. It's gotta be love I know it ain't a dream It's gotta be love As crazy as it may seem Sorry, Pee-wee, I'm not buying it. I warned Tabitha to never disturb me again, and she ignored my warning. No! It's Timmy's fault! Tabitha had nothing to do with it! Then I'll have to teach you a lesson, won't I? Timmy, sorry! Next time Timmy won't disturb you, Matilda. There won't be a next time, Sonny. You've wasted your time being afraid of Fluffy. I'll give you something to really be afraid of. <laughs> oh, no. You think I wanted you to... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I meant at all. No, it's not? No. <laughs> you know, the way you pad the sofa, I thought... I'm uh, really sorry. I, I really didn't mean anything by it. Please believe me. Yeah, I believe you. And why did you trick me into coming over here? I knew you wouldn't come over if I told you what I really wanted. Then what is it you really want? I want you to reconsider my offer to help you find evidence that my family was involved with your father's no, disappearance. No, Sharon, look, I can't Please, that just offer. don't Please. say no until you've heard me out. I'm listening. Well, remember how you told me that your life was on hold? That you couldn't fall in love or have a relationship until you found out the truth about your father? Yeah, I remember. That's a terrible way to live. I, I want to help you get on with your life, Louise. Why? What's in it for you? For me? N nothing. You know, then why is it so important, you know, what I do with my life? You know, why is my future so important to you that you'd be willing to go against your own family? You know, it, it, I just don't even get why my life's important to you at all. Unless there's something else you're trying to tell me. Yes, I really wanted to ask him out. But you also said that um, a relationship with Louise would be difficult because he doesn't want to get involved with a rich woman. I know I said that, but baby, don't tell me you've changed your mind. Well, Louise and I went out last night. It was wonderful. I mean, the more time we spend together, the more I start to think that maybe we could make a go at it. I'm actually gonna lose Ethan. Teresa, you never had him. But there is one way you can at least save your mother's job. How? Once the cranes are what I've done, they'll fire Mama for sure. Go straight to Ethan and tell him the truth. Beg him to forgive you and let your mother at least keep her job. You're right. I'm gonna go right out there and tell Ethan the truth. Good. I just need a minute to pull myself together. It's not easy to watch all your dreams disappear before your eyes. 
Especially when you know it's your own fault. I know, sweetie. I'm sorry. Cohen, you're not serious. You actually think Teresa tripped the waiter? Yes, I do. You're making her out to be some kind of monster. Yeah, well, I call a spade a spade. Look, she's gonna be back soon and then we'll know the truth. But I already know the truth, Ethan. The truth is that Teresa is in love with you and she's done everything she can to take you away from me. Are you all right, Gwen? Oh, I'm just stucky. Well, has your boyfriend come yet, Teresa? Because he's late. Ethan, there's something I have to talk to you about. Something I need to explain. Is it about your boyfriend, Teresa? Yes. What is it? Come on, Teresa, tell him. Tell him the truth once and for all. yourself for Tamika. Timmy couldn't live with himself if he didn't do everything he could to protect his princess. You really care for the old hag. I can't imagine why, but you do. Anyway, you're kind of cute. Oh, what the hell. I can help Tabitha. Yes, but it won't be easy. You'll have to bring me some things. What kind of things? Well, first of all, I'll need some of Tabitha's hair. Oh, Tabitha doesn't have hair anymore. She has scales. Her scales won't help. You can probably get hair from one of her hair brushes at home. Okay, can we get the hair? And the most important thing I'll need is a doe skin pouch. Tabitha used it to hold her first curses. Okay, where can Timmy get the ghost skin pouch? How should I know? Ask the fish. Okay, Tabitha. Where can Timmy get the ghost skin pouch? Let me think. I know. It's, it's in the desk. In a secret compartment. Okay. Which desk? Why, it's... Oh, no. I don't own the desk anymore. I sold it. And the pouch is still in it. Well, too bad. Without that pouch, I can't do anything to help you, Tabitha. Louise, I would do the same for anyone. I wouldn't want anyone to put their life on hold if I could help them in any way. You'd actually try and help me prove. That your brother and father had something to do with my father's disappearance. I want to help you to realize that my family was not responsible for what happened to your father. But what if they were? I mean, what if you help me and we do find out that they were responsible? I still want to help. I owe you my life, remember? <gasps> when you saved me from crashing to my death on New Year's Eve. And we cranes always repay our debts. You don't owe me anything. Just my life. Please, let me help you, Louise. Now, you talk a really good game, Sheridan. But what are you really after? This is about more than repaying a debt. What is it, Sheridan? If the DNA tests prove that this man is not Martin, then there's still a possibility that... that I could have killed the real Martin Fitzgerald. Why are you so interested in what happened to Martin Fitzgerald? I told you. Yeah, you told me. You want me to get on with my life. No, but there's got to be something deeper than that. Well, what is it, Sheridan? Tell him, Teresa, please. Get this over with. What is it you want to tell me, Teresa? Um, I just... I wanted to tell you that my boyfriend is running late, but he'll be here. He had car trouble. Car trouble. And how do you know that? 
I called him on his cell phone. Well, when's he gonna be here? Oh, I'm not sure. He might not even make it. Oh, Teresa, enough with the charade, okay? There's no boyfriend. Why don't you just admit it? No, I swear there is a boyfriend. Okay, if there's a boyfriend, call him on his cell phone, because I'd really like to talk to him. I can't. He turned his phone off. He wanted to save his battery. Really? Ethan, tell me you are not believing this. Even you have to know she's lying. Teresa, you're just making things worse for yourself. Ethan, there are too many excuses for this boyfriend. He's had car trouble more than once. Now his cell phone is turned off. Nobody is this hard to reach. It would be easier to talk to the president. Gwen, people do have car trouble. What are you saying, Ethan? Are you saying you believe Teresa, or do you believe me? Which is it? I hope you're right, Orville. I hope that bird statue burned up in the fire. Because if it didn't, if someone else got their hands on it, my whole life could be destroyed. You have no idea how disastrous it would be, Eve. No idea. What are you thinking about? Uh, just thinking about everything that happened. You know, everything that Orville said. You know, remember that um, chunk I told you about in Orville's apartment? I'm trying to open it up. something in that trunk about your past? I don't know. But I'm definitely going to ask Orville about it again. And remember what I also told you about that woman? That woman that I saw outside of Orville's apartment? I want to call the cops and ask that cop to stick around and keep an eye on the place? I want to talk to her. Knows anything. Who knows, maybe Orville talked to her about me. you'd be interested in some art pieces. You know, give the place some pizzazz. Well, what kind of art? Charity, do you see anything else? <clears throat> no. Just what I told you before. Excuse me, but I don't think this whole vision thing is for real. I mean, Charity, you see someone we know only here. She looks different swimming around in a small area while flying. You're right. It does sound pretty crazy when you say it out loud. You know, let's just forget the whole silly little thing. Nice try, Shorty. But since I can't help Tabitha, I'm going back. And if you ever dare to disturb me again... Wait! I just remembered. The desk was sold to the Crane family. And I think it's still in the Crane Mansion. No doubt the pouch is still hidden in that secret compartment. If Timmy gets the pouch, will you help Tabitha? <laughs> oh, all right. If you bring me some of Tabitha's hair and that pouch, I'll help her. Oh, thank you, Matilda. Thank you. You better be quick about getting those things back to me. We all know fish don't live very long. <laughs> How does Timmy get that doe skin pouch out of that desk in the Crane Mansion? I have a plan. Good. What is it? It's very simple. Tonight, you have to break into the mansion and find that pouch. You know, you are the
are the most cynical man I have ever met, Louise. Can't you just be happy that I want to help? Not till I know why. I told you why. I mean, don't you realize the risk I'm taking by helping you? Yes. You would be taking a risk. Okay. I accept your offer. Finally. Good. Now, Ivy and Julian are going to be going out this evening. When they're gone, the house will be empty. We can enter into the main house and search. Sounds like a plan. Do you have any idea what we're looking for? Nope. There's got to be something. I just hope you aren't too disappointed when you find out that my family had nothing to do with Martin's disappearance. We'll see. If I was involved, then my life's over. Well, who do you believe, Ethan? Teresa or me? I don't believe it. Teresa, and please say something. And anything to prove that your boyfriend exists. I told you, Ethan, she can't tell us where he is because he doesn't exist. She's been lying this whole time because she's in love with you. Is Gwen right, Teresa? Have you been lying to me about your boyfriend this whole time? Well, all right, Gwen. I believe you. It's obvious Teresa has never had a boyfriend. She's been lying all along.